Hi, this is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. Today we have iShoot. Let me close this. This is from last time. It saves your previous games. Let's go out to the menu. Um, and this is the light version. There is a full version uh, just for the sake of money. I may end up buying this, but just for the sake of showing you this, uh, I figured we'd just use the light version, and if you really like it, you can buy it. It's actually the top app on the iPhone or uh, iTunes App Store. It is, I believe it's $2.99 new, or a new full version, and free for the uh, trial. So let's go into options, so you can see. Very simple options, sound, vibration, and we'll close that. Now this is a very traditional game. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this or not, but there's been many iterations through over, throughout the years of this game. Now the cool thing is, is before you start the game, you actually get to pick which weapons you use. So right now it's my turn. I'm player one over here. Uh, little tanks on the screen. I want to get rid of these three tanks. Now in order to do that, you can see, I, I don't know if you can read this, mini mortar. You get to pick different weapons and that sort of thing. Uh, it shows me the angle that the cannon on the uh, gun is pointing at. There's the wind speed up here and the fire button. So let's change the angle I'm pointing at. I don't know if you can see that. In the by the uh, tank, you can see there's a little green arrow as I move. You can you know bring it in here and move it. Uh, so let's keep it right here at a 70 degree angle or 68 as I let go. And what we'll do is we'll hold fire up to 75, 84 percent. So you can see that it's going to come down right here. And by luck, I hit that fourth tank. And then everybody else takes their turn or third tank. So you get these different weapons. This is a tactical nuke this guy has. And there you go. So as you hold down fire, you increase your rate of fire. So from 0 to 100%. So we'll go ahead and shoot at 80% again. Or close to it. And we'll hit this tank hopefully. No, I missed. So this guy, what happens is, is the next game you have uh, you've earned points or money. As you win, you can pick different and better weapons. And as you can see, there's some pretty neat weapons. There's been really good iterations of this game. This is one of the better ones I've seen. And I don't mean on iPhone in general. I just mean uh, in general for uh, throughout the years. I've seen a lot of different ones. And I'm going to miss again here probably. I, I, hit, I, I let go too soon. So we'll play through here and you'll get the idea. Very simple. The game will just end, and we'll get to pick new weapons. So let's do 84%. And you can see the iPhone just brightened a little bit. And I do have the lights off around me just so we can get a better pickup on the camera here. Uh, let's see here. Do 87%. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. I missed again. Unfortunately, I only have mini mortars because last time that's all I picked. I could start over. Um, but that's really all there is to this game. So you're going to keep battling back and forth. Uh, as I get hit, the iPhone will vibrate. If you have an iPhone, if you have an iPod Touch, you won't get that sensation. And <clears throat> ah, I missed again. And, uh, oh, that's right. The other thing they do is each one of these has different things. This is SpazBot, Bot, Hippie Bot. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one, but once it comes up, I'll show you. Um, sp they say different things relative, like, uh, you know, peace for the, for the Hippie Bot, that sort of thing. Oh, and that's Rommel. See, the best plan is the one made when the battle is over. They say clever little things, especially the hippie bot's pretty uh, humorous. See, love is all you need as he fires. Uh, you know, goofy little things. But for a fairly inexpensive app, and uh, a really a great game you can play against the computer, or the iPhone, or iPod Touch, or you can play against other humans, up to uh, four total of you combined. Um, or right now, it's just me against three other... Uh, AI opponents. The AI is actually, I don't want to say it's forgiving, but it's fairly easy. There are different difficulty levels and that sort of things. So, right now it's not very difficult. 
uh, just for the sake of showing you. And I'm not doing well. Uh, normally I do pretty good at this, but I'm just not doing well in general. I win about 50% of the time. And there I made a mistake. I didn't hold it down long enough. And if I had a different uh, weapon option, it would be down in here. So let's fire again. And we'll try and hit this guy. There we go. Direct hit. The one thing I do wish that this had was a little easier way to adjust the power that you're shooting with. It is a good interface. It would maybe be a little bit better if it had a slider, that sort of thing. Uh, but. Uh, you know, you can't really ask for a lot. For three dollars, the game is great. And actually, the guy's been mentioned in in uh, on a lot of blog sites and things because he's made so much money with this game. Uh, in order to stay number one, you have to have ten thousand downloads per day. So at three dollars. Apple takes 30% of the profit for storage and bandwidth and that sort of thing. Um, and due to that, he's been making about $20,000, uh, you know, not including tax, but $20,000 per day for five days straight, I think, is how long it's been out. So uh, it's definitely a good game. It's had a lot of downloads. And uh, if your friends have an iPod or iPod or iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, and, and you um, want to meet up and, and beat them in this, that you know may be an excuse to get it. Not that it's a very complicated game, but I think it's worth the three dollars. And there, I made a mistake again. So we're almost done here. If I can get rid of this guy, I think I overshot again. And we'll go back and forth. Now oh, I overshot one more time. See, that's the thing is, like I mentioned before, as you shoot this, um, it, it's really hard to get the exact number every time. So there is sort of a challenge in that, but uh, I prefer uh, maybe like a slider to uh, specify exactly what I want the, the power to be. There we go. So I won. You can see, you know, who killed who, that sort of thing. I've won twice, uh, lost once. So if I hit done, what you can see is right here I have the different uh, items I can buy. There's more as I scroll down. I have 35,000, so we'll buy, a, uh, we'll buy one of every. And just for the sake of showing you, um, We'll go ahead and just show you, fire each one to show you what they do. So the mini mortar is the one I've been using. Uh, we'll just aim that way. So let's go, this is a tactical nuke. And I wasn't trying to be really accurate, but I thought I'd show you. Uh, this is a mini cluster bomb. You can see it split and kind of hit everything in one area. And this guy just launched a nuke. Uh, we'll shoot. These are Stinger missiles. And I kind of overshot, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's aim back up here. And um, this is a roller. Fire that, and it will roll up to the... Well, if it landed, what it would do is roll up to the enemy, or, or as close as you can to it. A lot of nukes going off here. Okay, so I've showed you uh, just about everything. Stinger missiles. Uh, here's a mega mortar. Well, and I just shot it at myself. So that's pretty much it. Those are all the different options you have. Uh, great game for $3. This is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. We'll see you next time.